Husker Harvesties for one day, but it turns out you cannot do the whole shit, whole show in one day or even one and a half days. So I came back for a third day and we're gonna watch some demos. Have you ever done follow cam in a golf cart before? Didn't think so. So at Husker Harvest Days, they do actual demos. So this is a Pace 8250. got to dump in the grain cart. that I can film them and show them to you guys. I had a few people actually come up to me yesterday at Husker Harvest Days and thanked me so much for doing demos because they don't usually get them out their way. And so I'm able to show them what good demos are like and I don't know, maybe even make some sales for these companies. Fent Ideal 10T, or more commonly known as the combine with no steering wheel at all. This thing, you operate it completely with the joystick. Now, this is what I'm trying to get out to the farm, okay? I'm gonna do my best, trying to work the lower farm's magic, but I don't know. It seems like this thing's in pretty high demand. I had to wait in line just to sit in. I don't even want to pretend that I know what all these things do. Goodness gracious. Tell me what you guys think of these tracks, huh? My goodness. Check out this thing. I get the sense that this thing would have some serious pulling power. And I mainly get that. this thing. It's huge. Oh, all right. So I only did a half a day, but I figure my third day here, I shouldn't spend another whole day here. 
Anyways, great show. Talked to a lot of amazing people. Met new friends. Talked with old friends. Uh, got a lot of goodies. But I will say, shout out to Eco Drip. It's a drip tape irrigation company. Uh, they gave me the best goodie by far. Do you see this? It's a Carhartt pliers holder with pliers, notebook, pen, and tape measure. Favorite thing of the day. I uh, got to see so many cool things. I really want to get some demos out to the farm for you guys. So I'm going to do my best for that. Spend some time emailing back and forth. But I did walk away from the show. There is a trucking company hauling three things out to the farm. Uh, they're big enough that they cannot fit in my car. They couldn't fit in Grant's pickup, on Grant's trailer, or in Dad's pickup. So I'm excited to show you guys what those are. But for now... Thanks for watching the video. I appreciate it. I'm off to visit grandpa in the hospital. Um, thank you so much again for everyone who's been praying for his speedy recovery. Uh, it's highs and lows, ups and downs. His condition really changes every single day, but the one steady thing is that it's going to be a very long road um, to recovery. So I appreciate your thoughts and prayers and I'll keep you guys updated. And hopefully the next time I see you, we'll be harvesting. Bye guys. Good morning, everyone. I am out here changing engine oil and checking antifreeze in all the wells. We're done using them now, but we're gonna have them all ready to go for next year. Draining the oil and checking the antifreeze. Oh yeah, that one's really good. And we also got the drive shaft off. We're done pumping water, which this thing does. Pulls water up the ground, runs through the pivot. But when we come harvest, we're just going to run the motor, which will run the generator, which will move the pivot out of the way so we can get the combine to the field. Here's another motor. I've checked the antifreeze in. I've taken the bolts off, taken the guard off. And... Got my Ranger Rick boots on. Oh, we're switching gears. It's harvest time. Going to the back 40. Got the grain cart out, probably won't use it. The tire still hasn't been changed yet. Oh, it's filling up the combine with fuel. Semi trucks are ready to go. that corner done so we're gonna move across the road the last beans were 11.8 on the ticket so I'm gonna they're pretty potty like 
pods on it. There were lots of pods in the beans. Um, so I need to make some adjustments and I will refer to my big manual that came with the combine. Here we got soybeans and we got all the little adjustments that they can make over here. So the reason I'm out here so early cutting the corners out, as you can see over there, there's the beans with all the leaves in, and that's with pivot water the beans. And so they're a little bit wetter. Like even right now, these are at 12.1 moisture, which is wetter than the other ones across the road, but I'm also getting a lot of uh, beans with green leaves on them. So, and there's a little water going on here that you can see it's a little wetter down here, but still gonna send it. Looking pretty clean back there. Taking the time. I do not want to plug the combine. That would take all the fun out of this day. Driving a combine is kind of fun. It's just like uh, like you drive your lawnmower. You just, especially the bean head, you just kind of drive wherever you want. It just makes things all smooth and nice. Corn head's a little different. You gotta follow the rows there, but out here you just drive where you want to. Down the bottom of the bean head, there's these belts that feed it in to the feeder house. A little sickle bar down there that cuts them, a little reel helps flick them in. These beans are 11.6, look at that. I'm gonna get out of here soon and see how good a job I'm doing.